Di sini sentuhan awan untuk Sumareh peluang buat Sumareh. Dan jaringan sentuhan yang pertama dari bawah dan Sumareh memberikan apa yang dimahukan oleh Malaysia. Satu sama jadi majis Muhammad Sumareh untuk Malaysia menyamakan kedudukan. And I have the, I mean, one of the biggest, uh, <laughs> one of the biggest footballers in, in Asia is here with me. So are you? Hello, hello everyone. All right, bro. Yeah. So, bro, I've been chasing this man for a while, guys. It's it's hard to get him, you know. I had to like message the DM, the manager, this and that. But I mean, eventually, I, I brought him here. Thank you so much for coming, man. Uh, you're welcome. It's good to see you, man. Thank you for having me too. So, yeah. Yeah. Only for a while, you know. Yeah, for a long time, we were for a long time, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to ask you, like, how did you end up in Malaysia? Well, it's kind of a long story, but I'll just call it short. Yeah. My, my dad is a businessman, so he, he travels a lot to Asia to get his container to okay. send to it move. back to Africa. Africa okay. So, he's within Malaysia, China, and then it's too far to come back to Gambia and see their family. So, okay. he brought my mom, my sisters, they were all studying here. Oh. So, then he had to he brought, he brought us here too as well. So we we'll closer to him, so he doesn't have to fly all the way back oh, to Gambia to see us. So then, okay. whenever he's doing his business transactions, he can just come to Malaysia and then, oh, nice. yeah. So, so that means you guys have been here all your life. Since I was like fourteen, oh, yeah, he okay, moved the whole okay. family here. So to make it easier for his business to have his family around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. makes more sense. Yeah. So how was the how was the culture shock when you when you arrived here? Uh, you know, the Gambian life and the Malaysian life. How was that? When I arrived here, like I was young then, so, so I didn't, I didn't really understand yeah. much. Yeah. But as I grew older, I understood back then what was going on, and now, but it was fine. It was fine with me because I was with my family, and then I went to an international school, mm -hmm. so I was mixed okay. with like different people, different people, different people like yeah. you know, foreigners, and yeah. then so it was almost the same. I didn't feel any any different in any way. Oh, nice, nice. So, but when you got here, did you have did you had to learn the language, or it was just that's why I couldn't learn the language. Because uh, so, yeah, went to because I went to an international school, school oh. and the locals in the international school, some speak of them English. don't even speak, you know, Malay. Yeah. Malay. So I got to learn Malay when I start playing professional football. Oh, okay. Because some of the Malaysians players, they can't speak English, so I have to adapt a little bit. Oh. But my Malay is still not good enough. <laughs> I still have to do a lot of work. Yeah. So when did you start uh, football professionally? Maybe eight, 2018? 2018. Yeah. No, 2018. That was like seven, eight years ago. Oh, okay. seven, seven years ago, I don't know, eight oh. years. When I was 18, that's when I got my first professional contract yeah. with PDRM. Here in Malaysia? Here in Malaysia, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. So, how, how has that been for you? Like? Oh, it's been a long journey. Mm. It's been a long journey when I started to play professionally as a young player mm -hmm. and then getting up step by step. Yeah. Just growing, easy. Yeah, yeah, growing. It's like, a little bit, a little setback, disappointments. You get, you get back up, up yeah. and then fight again, and then you know, have you have bad moments when things are not going well, mm -hmm. when you're not playing your best. So, well, thank God, mentally I was very strong. I overcame all that, and I'm in a better place right now. How how has the support been you know, for you being African in, in in Asia, playing professional football? How has that been for you? But honestly, for me, it's been good because yeah. the Malaysians really support me. They really yeah. showed me a lot of love. Yeah. Since I played in PDRM, moved to Paris, come to Pahang, then ended up in national team, then ended up in Joe. Yeah. It has been nothing but love and then I think they're the one that got me where I am today because exposure wise they really they really helped help me a lot. So like you you playing for national the national team, thanks have been a lot bro. How, how did you take that in? Um that was like playing for the national team it was like it's something I never thought I would end up like playing professionally here. I was like, okay, I've kind of, I've kind of made it. Kind when of. you got the offer, when they told you that, okay, it's summer right now, but wanted to play for Malaysia. Nah, how did you take that? You didn't oh, come like I that. I thought right? it was a joke, you know? Because it's, uh, it was the end of the season. Yeah. Then, end of season, footballers would like to travel, you Move know? around, yeah, so and stuff. I already almost booked my flight. So I was having dinner with teammate, teammates and some friends. Yeah. And I got a call from the coach. And I was like, okay, how are you? And all this. 
and I uh, would like to invite you for national team camp. What? I thought it was a joke. I thought it was one of my friends <laughs> trying to prank me. I was like, oh, come on, stop that. Don't do that I to me. I kind of hang up or I kind of, you know, and I got a call again. Wow. Like, hey, it's Koitan. I was like, oh, this oh. is real, hey. Eh? I was like, okay, okay, yeah, yes, 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 I'm ready. Um, you know, I was like, oh, what? Nah, the holiday can go away. Then I was, that's what it is, man. Yeah, that's how it all started. Uh, I joined the national team first camp, friendly game. Wow. And then I became part of the team till now. Wow, that's, bro, that's amazing, man. Yeah, thank God. But you're a destiny child, bro, and you're fucking freaking superstar, people. So, like, yeah. for example, now, um, when you when you started playing for the Malaysian team, mm -hmm. so you had to dump your Gambia side and become Malaysian. Yeah, yeah, because Malaysian, you don't, know, you can't have dual citizenship. So okay. I had to give up the Gambian passport to become a Malaysian. Ladies and gentlemen, Sumare here has a freaking beautiful Malaysian passport. So you had to like cut the Gambian one and then become Malaysian. Yeah. yeah before they could allow you to play for the national team. Yeah, you have to be a Malaysian to play for the national team. Bro, I think like, you're the only black person that has a Malaysian passport. Oh, in the whole I guess. Region. Well, I mean, many more to come. I'm just... Wow. That's beautiful, bro. No, thank you. I mean, I mean, in the world of today, we know that's not easy, bro. I mean, I've been here ten years. Yeah. I, I can tell you, it's not easy. It's not, to even get a, a permanent resident here, it's not easy. Yeah. So for somebody to have a passport and play for the national team, yeah, it was. It, it, <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. I guess God, 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 yeah. God, God, God is with me, and then definitely, bro. Like my mom prayers, and then definitely, I've been doing the right thing, yeah. and then, then I have a lot of love for the country, and then. Everything fell well, right well, so yeah. well yeah. for me. So, your your parents are here, right? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. How did your mom take that when it happened? My mom couldn't believe it until she saw it. Then she believed it. She thought it's all talk, talk. Oh, you know? joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she saw it and then she, she believed. Yeah. Then she believed. Wow, bro. So, uh, how do you how do you feel about being Malaysian, traveling around the world with the Malaysian passport? How how does that make you feel? Like when you get to the airport and they look at you. Do you get all those looks, the ones they normally give us? Do you mostly, get those mostly ones? it's different because Malaysia is a football, they're football fans, they love football. Yeah. So, so they understand. No, no, mostly uh, the ones, the, 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 the guys in the immigration, they yeah. know football, they see me, they so already know. Already, uh, so but the ladies that don't really know about football, they're sure, but they'll be looking at me like, oh, like what's going on there? Like, yeah. like, like when I was traveling to Indonesia yeah. for holidays with the Malaysian passport, they wouldn't have to ask for my IC to the whole compound. To confirm, like, like what's going on here? They're yeah. not seeing a black guy traveling to Indonesia with a Malaysian passport. So, And then outside yeah. outside the country, when they see that you have a Malaysian passport, what was the response they give you? The border language, the immigration, and outside the Malaysian. Uh, okay, that's why it was Indonesia. Like they look at you like it, it's just not real. Yeah, yeah, so I had to bring up my IC to show them that yes, it's I, real, bro. It's real, yeah, because wow. they don't see this often, so I understand as well. Mm, that's good, bro. So, bro, if you could play another sport, what what sport would you want? Uh, I'm a big fan of basketball, so oh. I played a little bit of basketball in high school. So mm, that's good. So, are you are you are you married? Oh, and I'm not married, but I'm about to soon have a girlfriend for two years. I had some gist somewhere, and somebody said, You remember, bro, I know this guy, he's not married. Like, oh, the person was no. arguing with me, you know? Oh, I'm no, like, He's no, not no, married. No. It's a lie, I'm not married. <laughs> I'm, I'm not married, I've never been married. I have a girlfriend for two years. That's great, bro. So, so everything works out, we will get married. Now you guys heard he's not married, but he's getting married. Yeah. So, what, what's that thing you do before you play any match? Like, that my, only you know. Like my ritual? And Something like that, yeah. Well, mostly. Uh, a night before the game, the opponent I play against, I like to go on YouTube and then watch, watch, and then after that watch myself things I do to watch myself. If I can do this in these other games, I could do it to remind myself that so I can I, that I can do it. And, and that's good. The last of last but not least is of my mom prayers. I have to yeah. talk to her for a little bit. She has to pray. And then once I start, once kick off, she's on the prayer mat praying for me. Wow! Every game she does that. That's all amazing, you. No bro. jokes, yes. Wow. Our mothers are God. I always thought, yeah, yeah. We need I, to wash up our hands. prayers well, really got me where I am today. It oh, played a big role. That's fantastic, bro. Yeah. That's really good. So what, uh, who inspired you, I mean, when you were young? What, what inspired you to play football? Do you, like, watch uh, Pele or you watch all those other footballers? Uh, or it just happened? Uh, well, well, I've always liked football. Mm. Like, 
but since I was a kid, anything I see on the floor, I just like to kick it around. Yeah. Even my sisters get so mad at me, they have flip-flops, their shoes, I just keep, keep kicking them. You know, I just like kicking the ball. Mm. And then when I started watching football, then I really fell in love with it. I was like, this is what I want to be, you know? Yeah. And from then on, it's been stuck in my head mm. ever since till now. And then I, I went after it. And it was kind of I made, I made it. So bro, you play for the Jaw FC, right? Yeah. Uh, so how has that been for you? I feel like that's the biggest club in Malaysia, oh, bro. Far, far, biggest, far biggest. the biggest. Wow. I mean, like I said, coming from from an academy in Malaysia, football yeah. school, and then ended up in PDRM, ended up in Pahang, and then to Joho is something I never dreamt of, you know? Wow. So everything left is possible. It's, it's just time. It's, it's just and patience and, yeah. be, and be honest with what you're doing and be mm. honest to yourself. Mm. I mean, I mean the time possible. will come, and then now I'm in Joho, like, uh, this, is, uh, this is the biggest achievement I've ever done to wear the Joho jersey. Wow, that's beautiful, bro. I see that you guys had the dinner and the, the, the jogger. I followed the guy on Instagram, it's amazing, bro. Yeah, he's got a lot of cars and the kind of stuff. Prince, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a very, very, very nice person. Wow. Don't get deceived by what you see on Instagram, but if yeah. you get to know him, he's, a one he's an amazing person. Wow, he looks cool. after all his players. I mean, you don't often see a boss that invites you to his home often to eat inside his yeah. house yeah. for dinner, and then sometimes. I forget that he's my boss because <laughs> he welcomes me as a friend. He talks to me as a friend for a second. So, like, bro, yeah. so if you get to know him, he is a very, very nice and funny man. Mm, that's good. That's yeah. good. So which, which I mean, playing all this long now, which is your favorite goal? Tell me. Like, the goal you scored. Uh, the goal was uh, when we were playing against Indonesia World Cup qualifiers. We were, we I was were, watching that. Yeah, we were 1-0 we <laughs> down. I came in. And then, and, then scored, scored, yeah. and then it was 2-1 two, two and then we scored 2-2 two, two, and then oh my God, bro. 98 minute additional time, maybe 3 minutes. I think you scored again, right? Yeah, 3 yeah. minutes to the end of the game, bro. I scored the last goal. Bro, that day? That was the... That day it was... Oh, I don't know what to say. That day, right? We were somewhere, I think we were somewhere in Cairns, right? Yeah. All the boys, all African people, you know, mixed. Yeah. But we were screaming the shit out, bro. I was screaming. The whole place just went upside down when you scored that goal. It was crazy for me to I couldn't even believe it. I was like, <laughs> how did this happen? The game is over already, like it's done and then we'll see anything. Um, I'm gonna ask you what, what makes what makes what do you think makes Malaysia wonderful for you? Well Malaysia, I mean well we all know they're nice people. If yeah. you're nice to them and you come for the right reason and you're doing good, they they'll, they'll give you a lot of love, you know? Yeah. And then they're friendly as well. Very. Yeah, so, that. yeah, that's a good thing, and yeah, the food, obviously. Yeah. I like the food, I like the especially food. from Penang, <laughs> yeah. Nasi Kanda, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, I like, there are a lot of things to love about Malaysia. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, I haven't played, played for all those clubs, right? Mm -hmm. Do you have any favorite coach? The ones that I've always seen you know, being on your... Yeah, supporting you and stuff or you just like them? I have few coaches. Well, every time I played, the coach I played the longest with was Koi Dola. Mm. The, the, the professionally, yeah, I started with him. He got me all the way up, up yeah. and then he's been there like a father figure. Mm. And then when I was a kid, I have a coach from Argentina from my international school days. Mm. He, he, he taught me football basically he taught me what to do what not to do not to do it he developed me in a oh, way okay. so his name is coach Luis from Argentina mm, nice. and then now I play for Joho well, I have my coach coach Benja so he, he, he took it from there he, I'm learning a lot from him as well so it's good so uh, so overall all the coaches I've worked with they're all my favorite they're all good coaches mm. so uh are you looking at playing for clubs? oh sorry I'm coach time national team coach <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you're saying about uh, you're talking about Coach Tan, yeah, Coach Tan, the national yeah. team coach. Yeah, 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 I mean, for giving me the opportunity first of all to represent the country and to believe in me, and then I'm working with him. I've been doing great, like you know, and it's easy to work with him as well. He understands players. Yeah. He reads you. He talks to you. He gets you to open up to him, and then yeah. he talks to you as a friend. You know, and it's a calm, nice guy, so it's easy to relate with him, to go talk to him, open up to him and tell him what's wrong, what's going on. And then, yeah, yeah. I, he's a really, really good, good coach and he really helped me a lot. What makes you Malaysian, bro? What makes me Malaysian? Well, 
let me start with I've lived here my whole life. Yeah. Since I was a kid, my youth, my youth, my teenage life, every I spent it here in Malaysia, and I've never went back to Gambia. My family live here, wow. and I have a kampung. My kampung is one guy, so <laughs> Bali kampung. Bali kampung. <laughs> now I'm, I'm in my kamp, I'm about to go to my kampung for Raya, so. Basically, I'm, uh, 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 there's a lot of things that make me Malaysian. I, and I love their food, yeah. I love their culture, and then I celebrate their rayas and their, and their victory because I'm Muslim too. Yeah, so we have a lot, of, a lot in common. Yeah. And then all my friends here are now in Malaysia because here's where I grew up my whole life. So there's a lot of things that make me a Malaysian. So, bro, when you're, when you're under pressure, mm -hmm. I mean, during the match, how do you, how do you, how do you maintain that? How do you keep your balance? Oh, uh, if I'm under pressure, I don't like to put it in my head too much because that's restart. that's gonna get me nervous when playing. Yeah. Then I won't be able to do what I know I can do. So I just go out there and enjoy the game. So the more you enjoy the game, the more the pressure is less because you out there doing what you love most and enjoying the game. So everything just falls in place. Nice. So the joy experience you playing for that big team now. Has it changed your life in any way? Yeah, it changed my life a lot. Like, uh, I, got, I got well, financially, obviously. Definitely. Yeah. He, 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 your salary is paid on time. Yeah. yeah. Your salary is paid on time, and he take care of his players. And then professionally as well, things I wasn't doing before, like taking care of myself. Now I, I, I do all that. Mm -hmm. Take vitamins. Go to the gym a bit early because we have all the facilities. Go do pre workout before training. After training, we have ice bath. Mm. Or everything I never used to do before. So I I get to do all that in Joho, you know. Yeah, that's good. So it has it changed me a lot. I mean that's good. I mean I'm, I'm happy that you you're playing for that top team. You're the biggest in Malaysia. I'm happy. I'm happy too. Yeah. It's it's a big it's a big it's a big one though. So uh, okay, you have the the opportunity to ask me one question. Mm -hmm. Just only one. Do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. If you do, you should say her name out there. I don't have a girlfriend. You I'm sure? single as hair. Yes. No girlfriend. No girlfriend. No I sayang. Sayang, just, tada. Tada, no. sayang. Tada. No, I don't have. Uh, tipu, I tipu, 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 <laughs> tipu, 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 tipu. No, no. If I do have, you know, bro. You know, you know what, you know my ex. Why are you single? Why are you still single? Uh, bro, I'm searching, bro. Obviously, you're a good-looking guy. I'm searching, bro. Still searching? Yes, I'm searching and I'm praying. Oh, I think okay. we are looking for life partner. Just have to pray, so. Just yeah, be patient. Yeah, uh, I've been searching for a while now. I'm patient. I found the right one, so. You're lucky, bro. You're lucky. Oh. Yeah. So hopefully, for me, that I'm still searching, you probably find the right one. You will. You will. <laughs> Uh, anyways guys, uh, I think we've come to the end of the show. Thank you guys for staying with us on uh, this edition. So we'll catch you guys on the next edition of Show You with Sunky OG. Bye. Hello guys, keep watching Show You with Sunky OG. Thank you.